Hi, this is Sally from Lightspeed and in this video we'll see how to set up the printing settings in the back office. This feature will allow you to add your printers in the back office and to configure the printing of customer receipts and production orders. To set up your printers, you must first click on Configuration in the main menu and then on Printing in the sub-menu. We'll start by adding the printers. Select printers from the drop-down menu. To add a new printer, click on Add the printer and enter the name you want to give to your printer. Then I would recommend entering the hardware address instead of the IP address. The hardware address is also known as the MAC address and can be found on the printer configuration ticket. In order to get that configuration ticket, on most printers you only need to press and hold the reset button at the back of the printer for a few seconds. Make sure the printer is turned on when you press that button. On other printers, this ticket can be printed by turning off the printer, then pressing the feed button and holding that button while turning on the printer again. Then you need to select the driver of the printer from the driver's list provided. The printer driver is the model of your printer. Then you can click on save. Once all your printers are added, you can select printing profiles from the printing drop-down menu. Some printing profiles are usually already created on this page. All you need to do is link them to the right printers. The receipt profile corresponds to the client's receipt printing and will therefore normally be linked to the till or the bar printer. For restaurants, the drinks profile will be linked to the bar printer and the kitchen profile to the kitchen printer, for instance. For production orders and only for production, you also need to create your production centers. There is of course no need to do this procedure for client receipts. For this, you will have to select production centers in the same drop-down menu. You will create as many production centers as you need depending on the products you sell in your business. Still using the example of a restaurant, we will have to create a production center for the kitchen and another production center for the bar that we will link to the corresponding printing profiles. If you have several printers in the kitchen, you can as well have two production centers, one for the hot meals and one for the cold meals, which will each be connected to their respective printer. This configuration is also possible if you only have one printer in the kitchen but still want to have the hot meals printed separately from the cold ones, on the same printer but on separate tickets. Now that the printing part is configured, it only remains to finalize the settings. To set up the client's receipt, you can select the printing profile from the configuration or directly from the device itself. Any iPad or iPod that is linked to your account is a device. If you have only one device to take orders or if you have several devices but all notes should be printed on the same printer, then you can configure this on the configuration. Click on Configuration in the main menu and then on Configuration in the sub-menu. Then click on Edit to the right of the configuration you want to change. In the last box, entitled Connections, select your ticket printing profile under Default Printing Profile for Customer Receipt. And also under Default Printing Profiles for Notes. This is equivalent to selecting the printer on which you want the notes and the receipts to be printed. If you have several devices and you want the ticket to be printed on different printers, depending on the device from which the note or the receipt is requested, then you will have to configure it directly on the devices. Click on Configuration in the main menu, then on Devices in the secondary menu, and again devices in, in the drop-down menu. Then select the edit button on the right of the device you want to configure. 
Finally, in the printing configuration field, choose the printer on which you want the receipts and customer's notes to be printed. The printer may be different from one device to another. The client receipt part is complete. Let's finish configuring the printing for production dockets. To do this, click on Configuration in the main menu, then on Items on the sub-menu, and finally on Accounting Groups in the drop-down menu. The accounting groups allow you to define certain parameters such as the tax or the choice of the printer on which you want the production orders to be printed. You will therefore have to click on Edit on the right of the accounting group, for example, Hot Kitchen, and choose the production center where you want the items of the accounting group to be printed. It is also possible to select a secondary production center to warn another center that the dish in question is being served with another dish from that center. For example, if you have a printer for hot meals and one for the cold meals, and clients have ordered a hot dish with a cold dish, in the Cold Kitchen Accounting Group, you would select the Cold Kitchen Production Center. But the Hot Kitchen Secondary Production Center so that the Hot Kitchen knows that a cold meal must go with the hot meal. You will then have to configure the production centers for all the accounting groups for which you need a production order. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the Help Center for more information.